What has happened to Leela Starr? Oh my god. I don't know why she did that to herself. Okay, Leela Starr before plastic surgery looked beyond gorgeous. I want to say that right now. And all these people encouraging her that she looks great. I'm sorry, but they're insane. They're insane. Um, Because I'm looking at old pictures of her now. And she was beyond beautiful before surgery. Here, Leela Star before... Before and after. So here's a picture of her before. And she looks amazing. And she and she's all natural. Beautiful smile. Beautiful lips and eyes. And then all of a sudden. She gets these ginormous lips and cheekbones. Gets these massive boobs. And gets this big old ass. And it's like here's a picture of her. Where her ass looked actually really nice. She had a great ass. And now, it looks ridiculous. I, I don't understand these porn stars. I mean, she used to have a beautiful body. And then she ruins it by getting all this plastic surgery. And I just don't get it. I mean, her ass looks ridiculous. I mean, why? Like, I just don't understand how girls that are this beautiful... I mean, Leela Starr, like, I always thought she was insanely gorgeous. And now I'm just like, why did she do that? I mean, here's a really great picture of her. The problem is, it's, uh, I'll have to edit this. Because it's, you know, obviously you can't allow nudity on here. I know, freaking YouTube. They're anti-porn. Um... But I'm going to censor it anyway. I'm going to make like... I'm going to do like what those people do. Like where they make it look like a dress. You know what I mean? Like they make it look like a dress and all that. You know what I mean? Like when they start drawing. Like they doodle it and it looks like a dress. Like have you ever seen those pornos? Where it's like censored safe for work pornos. Those are hilarious to me. I'm trying to make like a dress. Like a choker or something. I don't know. Like a dress of some sort. Here. <laughs> this looks so stupid. But I mean you can't post nudity on here. So I'm just doing it just cause. And then like I'll do like little shorts or something. Like little. There you go. Let's do like a little. Like underwear basically. I'm just drawing right now but i just want to show people that it's just ridiculous to me like how beautiful leela star was until she really messed herself up and that's it's just sad to me man it's so like goddamn sad it's just so sad it doesn't make any sense to me why girls would do this to themselves like it's just sad it's like jesus even even adult even like, you know what I don't understand? Even adult, like, women that get into the adult industry, even the transgender women look better than the ones that do all the Botox. Have you noticed that? Like, people, you don't overdo it. And, I mean, this girl is beautiful, and I'm going to take that photo because that's a great photo of her. And it's just sad. I mean, she's got this massive ass and it's like people are like saying oh but we should all no 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 there's obviously some identity disorder that she clearly has i mean like look at korea mia and leila star and how much all those girls combined look like kim kardashian have you noticed that have you noticed that kim kardashian is making these mentally ill people look like her and dressing like her and being her. It's weird. And I, I don't care what anyone says. There's obviously a disorder happening and it's bizarre. I mean, Korea Mia is the same way. She looks like a Kardashian. And I don't understand why people try to look like a Kardashian. It's crazy. I mean, here's... Obviously another one. 
I don't I don't get it. I really do not understand it. It just doesn't make sense to me why these people try to look like someone else. Like why um do people try to look like someone else? I don't understand that. Like why can't you just be yourself? Why do you have to get these ginormous tits and this ginormous ass and just try to look like someone else? Why can't you just look like yourself? Like, have you seen Korea Mia before plastic surgery? It's ridiculous. Like, she looks like a completely different person. It's someone you would have never recognized. I mean, she looks completely different. Like, and she still looked really pretty. And it's just weird to me. It's like, it's it's I, I just don't understand it, to be honest with you. I don't know why people want to look like a Kardashian. I, I don't understand it. I'm trying to look for a before surgery, and I can't really find anything. I mean, here's her before the lip injections. And she had beautiful smile too and that's what's sad it's like it's that's what's sad about uh the porn industry is because they'll make these girls go okay let's do this like here's pictures here's a picture of korea Mia. i mean uh, not korea mia but mia khalifa and she is flat chested and really skinny and here's her thicker with giant big boot like double d's and it's just i don't know it's weird to me i don't get it it's it's weird. I don't understand it. Like these girls are like already attractive and then they get all these botox and stuff and then they look even worse and it doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. Um but yeah, Lila Star looks like a Kardashian. I don't I don't I don't get it. It looks it looks terrible. It looks she looks like a blow-up doll. I don't know how any man can look at that and think that's attractive. Like, I don't understand what makes someone to think that this is attractive on someone, that this is someone that they can idolize and someone that they can find sexually attractive. Like, are you kidding me? Like, I don't understand that. How can anyone find that attractive? Like, I mean, it's crazy. If you see this picture of her, you're going to, your, your mind is blown. It's like, Here's a girl that's beautiful, has a beautiful face, a beautiful ass, beautiful natural tits, and that's what she looks like now. It's like, I, I don't understand it. I, I really don't understand it. And I'm going to use that picture in my uh, podcast, but I just, I, I don't understand how people think this is attractive. It's not. It's awful. I mean... I, I don't understand it. It's like, and then people wonder why they get cancer and why, you know, like Mia Khalifa got a hockey puck that hit her in the tit and her tit burst and she had to have emergency surgery because if you get that fluid in your body because it's a foreign object, it could kill someone. Think of that for a fucking second. Having balloon bags in your body is not safe. <laughs> If you pop your tit, it can cause an infection. And women are still doing this for what? They're already gorgeous the way they are. They don't need to change anything. I've seen better looking transgender women try. I mean, I seriously, like... There's this e this girl Eva from Michigan. There's uh Fippy from like Thailand or something. There's uh Vicky Lee from who's Vietnamese. There's uh Pesh who's from Thailand and they have plastic surgery. But they don't overdo it and they look amazing. They look gorgeous. But this is see and the thing is Transgender women know when to stop. They are trying to look like a woman. And they know when to stop. Blair White looks amazing. She looks good. And she knows when to stop. It's not an addiction to them. It's to try to look like the person they want to be. 
But when you're a porn star, you basically are doing it for money. It's sad. It's like you're you're destroying your body, your health, everything, just to make a couple thousand dollars of fucking every guy that you fucking see. And I know a lot of people are going to criticize me or whatever, but I don't give a fuck. It's like, you know, it obviously this is mental illness and no one takes it into an account. You know? I mean, there are a lot of jobs out there that if you have mental health problems, they'll cater to those needs. Or if you have a disability. You know? But in the porn industry, it's the reverse. It's like they want to harm your disability. They want to harm your mental health issues. They want to exploit you. That's the difference with the porn industry. And and, and I don't care what all these stupid porn stars say or, or any of these psychologists or whatever bullshit you get from the internet. It's psychologically damaging. There's no... I mean, think of it this way. Why do you think in the 80s there was a huge epidemic of AIDS? Because everyone kept fucking. No one was using protection. That's my point. Nobody's wearing a goddamn rubber in the porn industry. They're just fucking every person that they find and then they catch something. And on top of that, they fuck outside of work. And a lot of those people outside of the porn industry are also escorts. You're playing Russian roulette with your own health, you ignorant morons. They just don't get it. It's like no one has common sense anymore. You know, and I understand that prostitution's are like the oldest like profession basically. And it's like, you know, I don't mind like if people do porno and they're in love and they're in monogamy or something, but there's I mean, this is why doctors and health professionals Always say to wear protection and to be in a monogamous relationship. Less likely to catch something. It's common sense. If you put your dick in everything, you're eventually going to catch something. (sighs) I'm just saying, it's just upsetting to me. I mean, you have, I mean, think about all these porn stars who have been raped, neglected, abused as a child, and where do they turn to for help? Pornography. Look at Stella Ann. She went into porn and she killed herself. Look at all the porn stars we had last year. Six porn stars last year that I covered on my podcast all have killed themselves by either drugs, hanging. Uh, Stella Ann shot herself with a shotgun. You know, it. I mean, there's a lot of mental health in the porn industry. And if they want to say this is a progressive movement, this is freedom of expression, and, and we have the right to do what we want with our own bodies, well, then why don't you provide mental health services, you ignorant dumbasses? <clears throat> if porno really is this positive, progressive movement, then why not give them mental health services then? Why is it that... It's a joke. I mean, it's like they pay them like $1,000 for a porn scene of having every guy inside of them and shooting loads throughout their entire bodies. And then yet they still got to spend money on their own clothes. They got to, you know, do pay for their own uh, screenings. They have to pay for their own protection. They have to pay for their own birth control. And all these things and driving to and from work every day. And they're having their assholes, like, destroyed. And, like, Lisa Ann had to go to fucking surgery just to get her asshole replaced. You know, because she had a prolapse from having too many giant BBCs in there. So it's just like, you know, it just makes you wonder, like... I mean, if if porno is this great, then why is it harming them? Physically and emotionally... And psychologically, I mean, the trifecta of 
mental health, you know, and just just health in general. And it's just, I don't know, it's sad. It's like, look at me. I mean, I'm, I've had a porn addiction, porno addiction since I was 12, and I'm trying to get rid of it. And it's hard. It really is hard to break an addiction. Anything can be an addiction. And I know all the names. And I'm trying to get off of it. And I feel guilty and shame for supporting this disgusting industry. I mean, look at all these sick kids going around like in high school and junior high and they're choking women and coming in their face and they're beating them because of the porno that they watch. I mean, you cannot tell me that there is no scientific link that can prove that these people go, oh, well, the woman likes to get spanked and likes to be choked and gag with my dick in her and close her nose. So maybe I should do the same thing. No, you should not. Not every woman likes that stuff. You know? Look at me. I'm a guy and I got sexually assaulted by a girl and she treated me like I was a porn star. She spanked me and tried to put a ball gag in my mouth. And she was like sucking on my dick and she was being very aggressive with it. It actually was painful. Even when I had sex with her, it was painful. That's my point. She was crazy. And I wouldn't be surprised, you know, and she has a history. She has a past. And, you know, and she likes three ways. And she likes having voyeurism and sex on top of cars and whatever else. And I didn't. I'm into compassion. I'm into love making. Not fucking around. And... I just think this is why there, this is a huge problem in this country is because they make it seem like this is okay. Like, look at how gorgeous, delightful Hug is. And there is a porno that I actually really like, but it pisses me off about this guy. This nerd with this red hair, and he's a total dork, and he slaps her in the face while he's, while he's giving her a... Like throating her, like which is like an aggressive blowjob, and then he pulls her head away and he like squeezes her face and starts slapping her in the face. And I'm like, why would you do that? And why would you forcefully grab a girl's head and jam it into your dick like that? You know what I mean? It's fucking violent. I mean, there's no reason for that. There's no reason for a man to hit a woman, period. I don't give a fuck. Okay? That's not that's not acceptable in porno. That's not acceptable in any society. You know? You'll watch, like, these ginormous black guys just ramming this girl with these ginormous dongs. And they're, like, spanking her in the ass. And I watch it, and I'm like... Why are they doing that? Like, there's no reason why porno has to be violent. There's no reason for it. I mean, Jesus, I've seen porno from the 70s and 80s, and they were nothing like that. I see. I saw one of those Honey Wilder, like, vintage pornos, and it was nothing like that. They weren't aggressive. She wasn't get, being hit. She wasn't hitting anyone. That's my point. It should be like that. Just simple, straight sex. It shouldn't be aggressive. It shouldn't be violent. I don't understand why there has to be violence in porn. So anyway, that's my rant. Uh, My birthday is tomorrow, so wish me a happy birthday if you want. Uh, But no, it's just sad about the whole Botox thing. It really is. It it makes me like in a bad mood. I I don't understand people who do it. I, I think it's sad. I think it's disgraceful that these women don't care about themselves. And there's just so much more like in society to show that you're beautiful without screwing up your appearance. So thanks for listening.